This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hey, I'm Roland here at Computex 2015 with Mobile Geeks and we're checking out the new higher Chromebooks. These devices are already out in the US at least. This one is on Amazon for 149 US dollars. Over here we have the education model. The education version is a bit more interesting because it's got a bunch of special features. This one is based just as the other on the Rockchip RK3288. They're both quad-core SOCs, ARM-based, so they're power-saving and they should be uh, powerful enough to do whatever you want to do with a Chromebook, especially surfing the web and doing some work in Google Docs or using all the other Google services. Both devices feature 11.6-inch TN panels. Screen resolution is at 1366 by 768. The viewing angles are pretty decent, at least from the side. From the top, you'll see that the color start to tilt pretty easily, but you, as it, interestingly, you can tilt it back and it doesn't really fade, but it fades from the top. So um, depending on how you use it, you should be okay with the, these panels. Brightness seems to be decent at least. Um, let's take a quick tour around. We have two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of flash storage on these. We have a small two megapixel camera, but I believe we have your uh, speech mic up there. This has a matte frame around the screen. What's interesting is that they have chosen this glossy uh, palm rest area, so everything down here is glossy and it certainly attracts a lot of fingerprints as you can see here. The trackpad has a nice click point to it on this device, though the lift isn't very high. It's fixed at the top and you have click clickability on the bottom. Keyboard seems pretty decent, so if I put it down and press a bit harder on it, it doesn't flex much, so it seems pretty stable. Size of the keyboard is so far totally okay. And let's just take a quick tour around. We're starting out with the Kensink lock back here. There's your USB port, USB 2.0 this should be, and a three and a half millimeter headside jack. It tapers down to the front, but they're cheating a bit because there's, uh, the corners are rounded off. Going over to the left, you have a micro SD card slot right there and another USB port, plus your uh, full-size HDMI out. And right next to that is the power connector and its LED. The outside of the device is totally matte, as you can see, so that's a bit of a question why they chose to make the inside actually be uh, glossy on the palm rest area. The whole thing weighs in at just 1.2 kilograms, I believe, and we have two stereo speakers that are facing to the bottom, so that's not really ideal. Um, that's just been a quick look at the Chromebook HR11R from uh, higher here. and. Now on to the education model, and the education model is a bit more interesting at this device. Features pretty much the same the same stuff. You've got the ARM chip in there, 2 gigs and 16 gigs. Um, keyboard seems a bit different, a tiny bit different. The spacing on the keys seems to be a bit bigger. Um, but And the trackpad is also yeah decent, actually. What's interesting about this is actually that it's semi-rocked, because you can drop this and it shouldn't take any damage. You cannot throw this off a building, but one meter, maybe 1.2 meters should be okay with this. And for kids to carry it around in school, you have a handle on it. And what's also interesting is for these IT, IT departments in the schools, you can actually actually switch out the batteries. Battery runtime should be around eight hours on this 3,000 milliamp hour battery. At least they're telling me it's a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. So you can change this out. And I would personally prefer this, but this is not coming in retail. You have to be a school or another education uh, institution to actually be able to order this. So this has just been a quick look at the higher Chromebooks here at Computex 2015. That was Roland with Mobile Geeks checking out these $150 laptops with Google's Chrome OS here at Computex. And if you like what we do on our channel, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And we'll see you later. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus.